Instagram, it's your girl Miraja. It's your boy Ant. And we are the Watts, Watts fam. fam. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Comment below. And like and subscribe and turn on those post Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Turn on those post <laughs> notifications so you don't miss a video from us. Uh, we are excited to have you here. If you are new to our channel, and welcome back if you aren't new. Welcome back. We're happy to have you. Welcome, me. welcome. You just always gotta be there. <laughs> I'm thinking, why, why are you doing it? So, this is just an introduction video to some thought. Excuse me. Do I need to talk? <laughs> you might need to. To, <laughs> to some thoughts of um, opening up a different avenue of our channel. Um, so Tuesdays, as you guys know, we are, did you just fart? Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> I know you fucking lying. <laughs> Come on, man. Where's the tape? You so on Tuesdays, we do, um, just like regular videos. If you're new, we do like vlogs, um, mostly vlogs. It ain't even nothing outside of vlogs, to be honest with you. Vlogs, challenges, shorts, videos lifestyle videos um but on thursdays we want to start incorporating um marriage content and this would been on our heart for a long time well, too for a minute it, it yeah has, but we just felt like god wasn't telling us it was time yet yeah and i feel like now um it's the perfect time to, to start talking about our journey uh where we came from where we're going what we've been through mm -hmm. um without totally saying too much because I still want to keep, you know, some Everything stuff. Everything is not for everybody, let me just say that. Yeah, that's true. But I was just gonna say everything is not for everybody to know. You know, some things are still personal that I'm gonna still hold to me. But um, God has just been speaking to us about telling our story and we want to make sure that we're abiding by what he Jeez. want right. us to do. And so on Thursdays, um, if we don't post on Tuesday, on Thursday, you'll catch a, a relationship topic or relationship type of video from the both of us. Yep. Just talking about our experiences, what we've been yeah. through. It could possibly touch someone, it may not. I mean, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It yeah, it might not be meant for it you. It may not be meant for you, but yeah. it may touch someone based on what we've been through with ourselves so yeah for sure um and honestly just us being young you know and trying to maneuver in life and this is a new journey for us so yeah y'all pretty much along for the ride so right you ain't lying <laughs> you saying, ain't lying we are a new we are uncharted territory we neither one of us are familiar with how any of this works so yeah for real, like you gonna get the real, true, yep. raw, like both of us, as if y'all haven't already, but yeah, for real to the point, like, going with us. yeah, y'all gonna be going with us. Um, so generally, um, we're, we'll discuss relationships and marriage, but just for this particular video, the first topic that we're gonna open up about, just to give an introduction, is what is marriage to us and then in the next videos to come of course we'll have you know different topics and different conversations about dating and marriage and how we overcame some of the obstacles but individually as well as yeah you know, definitely as a couple yeah them. as individuals we went through stuff before we got with each other that was some, right that's some true stuff we realized we were going through some stuff we didn't know we were going through mm -hmm. or that we experienced when we were so yeah definitely i agree yep. so we'll just generally talk now about the open question to start us off and then um next week we'll kind of dive a little bit deeper each week we'll go deeper but the first question just for this video is gonna be what is marriage to us um and what does it look like what is just marriage in general um you want to go first with me Always ladies first, man. Always. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say for me, marriage is, you know, two, excuse my dog, because my dog is eating. eating so if y'all right. hear, if y'all hear my dog eating, that's what he doing, okay? We've been gone all day, and he decides to eat right now. 
marriage is imperfect. Uh, marriage is an imbalance, you know, becoming a balanced situation. And marriage is like two imperfect people, you know, trying to come together and make a, I don't wanna say perfect, but like a good, solid relationship is what I would say is marriage, what is marriage generally. Um, it don't look good, it don't necessarily just look horrible, but it's just not perfect. It's just what it is. You know, everybody's marriage looks differently. But generally, overall, it's two imperfect people, you know, really coming together to try to form a good relationship. But it was I share some of those same sentiments. Um, I feel like marriage is where you find, I feel like marriage is kind of where you find yourself because you don't truly know who you are until you have to deal with someone every single day and they can, <laughs> they can actually see you from, from the outside as opposed to you looking at yourself from an introverted view. Um, because, like I said, if it wasn't for, and I'm not saying this is this is how this is what it is for everybody, but for me, um, it made me look at myself in a different light. It made me realize that there were certain things that I I needed to work on. There was, it made me realize there were certain things that I weren't that I wasn't as good at as I thought I was. Um, I think I feel like marriage is. For me, it's almost like where you find yourself, like when you find out who you who you truly are, where you eat. It's, and unfortunately, I feel like marriage either make, makes or break you, breaks you. You know what I mean? Because if you if it makes you, then you're gonna do whatever you you're gonna do whatever it takes to make that marriage work, regardless of what the situation is. You're gonna do anything, but if it breaks you, the first thing that that happens like you're gonna be out of there because it's gonna be some things that happen you know sometimes that you're not gonna be prepared for mm -hmm. that gonna come be completely off guard that god hasn't prepared you for and sometimes god puts those things there for you to fail so that yeah. you can see that uh, hey you got like a long ways to go and you ain't who you think you are in your head you know what i mean because we give ourselves we give our own selves these titles sometimes that like, that we like, oh yeah, I'm this type of person, or I'm that type of person. It's like, man, you really don't know what type of person you are until you got till somebody else has to deal with you every single day. And I just feel like marriage is just, it just it, it, it either mates or, or breaks you. Yeah, I can agree with that. I definitely feel like it's for the it's not for the weak. <laughs> so no, <I'm> <laughs> if you are that person who wants to leave at the sign of an argument, leave at the sign of you know disrespect, or leave. You know, at the sign of something not going right, it's definitely not for you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I just feel like if you're, if you're not willing to put the work in to get through situations, you know, marriage is just not for you. So overall, marriage may look different for a lot of people. Um, for us, that for me, let me say for me, that's what it looked like. And I can't remember the saying that they say, it's like two imperfect people just trying to be perfect for each other or something. There's some type of saying out there about two imperfect people, I don't know. But um, I would say that also for marriage, for the yeah. both of us, yeah. it looks different because we started very, very young. And a lot of people didn't really start young. I, I was 23, he was like, what, 25, 26? Um, when we decided to elope <laughs> or get married, I should say elope. But um, get married, we have been dating since 2009. We got engaged in 16, married in 17. And the things we have seen and overcome and, you know, just encountered for our marriage is, it's just, I can't, it's astronomical. Like I can't even like really put it into like, words as to what it really is. Pretty much because, like if we, did not have God, like if we didn't both already have a relationship with God, yeah. like before we got into like this marriage, I don't honestly it it, it could have it could have went a lot it could have been going a lot different. 
if we mm -hmm. both didn't have like didn't grow up in church and that's just for us i'm not trying to push you know christianity or any or god on anybody but i just know what he's done for both of us individually mm -hmm. as well as a couple yep so that's why i said it's a lot of situations where i look back on and i'm just like man if he wouldn't if he didn't have his hand in, in, in that i have no idea how we would have made it through that company through that situation because right. i'm like i know how i think as my as a human as an individual you know what i mean i know how i am. i know that i know the stuff i want to do mm -hmm. but sometimes god like it just he truly intervenes mm -hmm. and the chain takes something in a completely different direction that's supposed to be a complete disaster <laughs> you know what i mean it's, it's a lot of situations we had that was supposed to be complete disasters mm -hmm. but god took that disaster and was like look i'm gonna turn that into this just to show you like i'm just that i'm just that dope yep. you know what i mean like this, this is how I, this is how i roll you know what I mean? You stick with me, this how I'm going to continue to roll. And I, I just really think if, if we ain't had God in, in, in it, man, I just don't understand. That's the only, that's the only thing I can feel. Uh, yeah, really. Yeah, God is definitely number one in the head of our life individually and ahead of our marriage um, together, um, you know, as a couple. And he is truly leading and guiding us. Um, down the path that he wants us to be on and where he wants us to be and so this is not something that we I guess necessarily like plan to do or, or wanted to do but these conversations are things that we both just sit around and talk about you just know all the time not even yeah. trying to sometimes yeah just <laughs> no, I, just about our life where we came her, from you know? how we got through the situations we got through and like how we got to where we are now. We are not perfect. We don't try to be. We we ain't gonna be. And our paths were not the same at all. No, they wasn't. <laughs> and just and just to see just, you know, two people who just didn't know necessarily what they was doing get yeah. to where they are now. And we we haven't gotten to where we wanna be, but we have gotten a a hell of a long way, excuse my French, well, to say is. to say the least. Yeah. And so it's not something that we plan to do to talk about this type of stuff, but for whatever reason, it's just been on our heart because God keeps telling us that he wants us to um, tell our story. Yeah. Sure. And so... It's just been more confirmation after yeah. more confirmation after more confirmation. Yeah. And it's like, he's almost like he's saying, look, man, I can't make this more clear. Mm -mm. You need to do what I told you to do. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're going to sit on this gray couch. <laughs> Every Thursday, <laughs> with these brown and gray and white and black or white and brown pillows. I don't know what color they use. Hey, what was that show on PBS? Comfy Couch. Yeah, Comfy this, Couch. This, this I used to love Comfy Couch. This one be called Gray Couch. Comfy Couch. Yeah. <laughs> so on Thursdays, we're gonna sit on this gray couch and we're gonna have some intimate, real, raw marriage in the rough. It relationship might be ugly sometimes it man what we're gonna have some real tough conversations the stuff y'all ain't gonna think we're gonna open up about the stuff that we probably shouldn't Should open up about. about um but you know things that you want to hear us open up about just being a young couple and being married because you don't see a lot of young people out here being married so y'all gonna get to um go on a journey with us as we bring these conversations to the forefront from y'all we're excited about it right and we hope that you guys keep watching and give us some additional information or topics about some other conversations we can have right but on thursdays i don't have a time but on thursdays if you have your post notifications turned on we, we together will be having a topic each thursday about marriage right. all right so y'all catch us on thursdays and on tuesdays we'll do a regular vlog or a regular lifestyle video like we've been doing. So two videos a week. Before you close this out, mm -hmm. um, I just want to say, I have no idea, we have no idea where God is going to take this. Mm -hmm. So whatever we say, it's not to bash anybody. Mm -hmm. It's not to say that we're better than anybody. It's not to demean anybody is not to make anybody who we've dealt with or we've had a situation with in the past to feel any worse about themselves we have no ill will towards anybody that's right no um, anybody that we've dealt with in the past anybody who's had a relationship with us mm -hmm. 
we we don't have any ill will towards anybody. However, it's no longer we can't sit back any longer and not do be obedient to God. Yeah. And so it might be some situations that may offend some people. It may be some situations that may not. We know that everybody is everybody that is not gonna like the stuff that we have to talk about. It's gonna be uncomfortable sometimes, but sometimes that's what it takes is to be a little bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Um sometimes in order for us to be able to move forward. And then that's okay sometimes. It, I don't I'm not mad at everybody that I disagree with. I'm not mad at everybody that disagrees with me. Mm -hmm. I don't expect everybody to disagree with us. However, I have we have to tell do the best to tell our story. Yep. And spread positivity and, and hopefully inspire somebody as best we know how. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna try to do that the best way we know how to while making sure that God is ahead of this thing. Yep. So I just wanted to put that out there. That when that's said, if you say anything that's offensive, we're gonna refer y'all right back to this video. <laughs> Period. That's out. Boy, blank and so period. Y'all know. Yeah, it ain't no ill will. It ain't no it's ill just, will, bro. But you know, us speaking about our experiences and what we went through and what we have dealt with, what we're still dealing with, you know, right. and how we are turning the negative into a positive, and how we're growing and learning yep. and maturing from what every situation every, that every keeps situation coming at us. With, yep. Yeah. So on Thursdays, again, y'all catch us. Um, turn your post notifications on. We'll be talking about marriage, dating, <laughs> um, I don't know, sex, fidelity, infidelity, yeah, all of that, so. yeah, friendships, you know, all of that, all on Thursdays. We're excited. Y'all keep watching us. Y'all subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And until then, the Watts family is signing out. Peace.